This video will provide instruction on the collection of passive soil gas samples for the identification of volatile and semi-volatile organic compound source areas, vapor intrusion pathways, and groundwater plumes. The sampling procedures are in accordance with requirements described in ASTM standards D5314 and D7758. Beacon's BeSure Sample Collection Kit is provided with detailed instructions for ease of sample collection. Each BeSure kit is shipped with a tug-tight custody seal. When the kit is received, verify that the seal is intact. If not, contact Beacon immediately. Each kit is custom prepared to include the requested number of PSG samplers and associated materials to collect passive soil gas samples. You'll also need tools and associated supplies to create the sampling holes, such as a hammer drill, slide hammer, or soil auger, and other common hand tools and materials that will be discussed in these instructions. The instructions provided are those routinely followed. However, actual sampling depths and sampling equipment used may be modified to meet project objectives. These instructions will cover the installation of PSG samplers using a hammer drill and drill bits to create the sampling holes. Prior to beginning sample collection, mark and label the sample locations using pin flags, wooden stakes, and or spray paint. Also make sure to locate and mark any underground utilities, pipes, tanks, or other features that present either a safety hazard or an obstacle to gas movement. When sampling in soil or vegetation covered areas, clear vegetation and debris as necessary and create an approximately one and a half inch diameter hole 12 inches deep. Then, using a half-inch diameter drill bit, extend the hole to a three-foot depth. Place the kit next to the sampling hole and open the kit. While wearing nitrile gloves, take a sampling cap from the sampling cap container and place the cap on the kit. Next, take an approximately 12-inch length of aluminum foil from the box and place it next to the sampling hole. This will be used to plug the hole. Remove one of the passive soil gas samplers, a glass vial containing hydrophobic adsorbent cartridges. Holding the cap end of the vial in one hand, pull the wire tight to straighten it with the other. Remove the solid shipping cap on the sampler vial and replace it with the sampling cap. Place the solid cap in the field kit. Form the aluminum foil into a ball and wrap the end of the wire one time around the aluminum foil so the end of the wire will extend at least one inch out of the hole when installed. Lower the sampler, open and down, into the hole, and compress the ball into the top of the hole to tightly plug it. Use the provided tapping dowel and a hammer if necessary to push or tap the foil ball into the hole so it rests approximately one half inch below the ground surface. Collapse the soils above the plug, leaving the end of the wire exposed above the surface of the ground. Coil the wire and lay it flat on the ground surface. Place the solid cap in the cap storage container and close the sample collection kit. On the provided chain of custody, record the field sample ID, the date and time of emplacement to the nearest minute, the sampling hole depth, the type of surfacing, and other relevant information. Following the exposure period, which is typically 7 to 14 days, each sampler is retrieved and packaged for return shipment to Beacon for analysis. At each sample location, open the sample collection kit. Remove a small cloth or paper towel, wire cutters, and a screwdriver and place these next to the sampling hole. Remove a square of gauze cloth and a solid cap from the cap storage container and place them on the open kit. Using the screwdriver, remove the aluminum foil plug and retrieve the sampler from the ground. Holding the sampler upright, clean the sides of the vial with the clean towel. Remove the sampling cap and cut the wire from the vial with the wire cutters. Next, clean the vial threads completely with the gauze cloth. Take the solid shipping cap from the kit and screw it onto the sampler. With a ballpoint pen, record the sample number ID corresponding to the sample location on the cap's label. Note, do not use a Sharpie marker. 
Place the sealed and labeled sampler in one of the provided 3 inch by 4 inch plastic sampler bags and record the sample number on the white block using a ballpoint pen. Then, place the individually bagged and labeled sampler into the larger bag labeled Return Shipment Bag. Note, each sampler is individually bagged and placed in a return shipment bag with up to 30 samplers and one trip blank per return shipment bag. Close the kit and on the chain of custody record the date and time of retrieval to the nearest minute and other relevant information for that sample location. When sampling in asphalt or concrete covered areas, drill an approximately one and a half inch diameter hole through the surfacing using a rotary hammer drill. This hole should be approximately 12 inches deep and extend below any subsurface aggregate material beneath the concrete or asphalt. The aggregate can act as a preferential pathway for lateral gas migration immediately beneath the impervious surfacing, and it's recommended to sleeve the hole through this subgrade layer unless the objective is to identify subslab contamination regardless of the source location. When the approximately 12 inch deep hole has been completed, Use a half inch diameter drill bit with a hammer drill to extend the hole to a three foot depth. Place the sample collection kit next to the sampling hole and open the kit. While wearing nitrile gloves, take a 12 inch length of one inch diameter pre-cleaned pipe provided in the kit and lower it into the sample hole to advance the pipe below the more porous subgrade material. Any portion of pipe above grade is cut flush with the ground surface using the provided pipe cutter. With a tapping dowel and a hammer, push or tap the pipe into the hole so it rests approximately one inch below the ground surface. Take a sampling cap from the sampling cap container and place it on the kit. Remove one of the PSG samplers and unwind the retrieval wire approximately six inches from the sampler so that a coil of wire remains at the end. Remove the solid cap on the sampler vial and replace it with the sampling cap. Place the solid cap in the field kit. Lower the sampler into the pipe and hang the coil of wire over the top and outside of the pipe. Take an approximately 12 inch length of aluminum foil from the box, form it into a ball, and plug the top of the hole with the aluminum foil. Using the tapping dowel and a hammer, push down or tap the aluminum foil into the hole so it forms a seal on the metal pipe and sits one quarter inch below the surfacing. Using a small putty knife, cover the hole to grade with a one quarter inch thick concrete patch that was mixed ahead of time. This patch will dry and form a secure seal to prevent surface water or ambient air from biasing the sample. Place the solid cap in the cap storage container and close the field kit. On the provided chain of custody, record the field sample ID, the date and time of emplacement to the nearest minute, the sampling hole depth, the type of surfacing, and other relevant information. Following the exposure period, return to the sample location and place the kit next to it. Use a small chisel or screwdriver and hammer to remove the concrete patch to expose the aluminum foil. The concrete patch is easily chipped out of the hole. Next, with the field kit open, place a clean cloth or paper towel, wire cutters, and screwdriver next to the sampling hole. Remove a solid shipping cap from the cap storage container and place it and a square of gauze cloth on the open kit. Remove the aluminum foil plug using the small screwdriver. Then, grab the wire hanging on the top of the pipe and remove the sampler from the hole. Holding the sampler upright, clean the sides of the vial with a clean towel, remove the sampling cap, and cut the wire from the vial with the wire cutters. Next, clean the vial threads completely with a gauze cloth. Take the solid shipping cap from the kit and screw it onto the sampler. With a ballpoint pen, record the sample number ID corresponding to the sample location on the cap's label. Note, do not use a Sharpie marker. 
Place the sealed and labeled sampler in one of the provided 3 inch by 4 inch plastic sampler bags. Record the sample number on the white block using a ballpoint pen. Then, place the individually bagged and labeled sampler into the larger bag labeled Return Shipment Bag and return this bag to the kit. Close the kit and on the chain of custody record the date and time of retrieval to the nearest minute and other relevant information for that sample location. After all samples have been retrieved and you're ready to ship the sampler to Beacon, affix a new custody seal on the kit noting the ID on the chain of custody. Review the provided kit return checklist. Place the kit in the original cardboard shipping box. Include the completed and signed chain of custody. Seal the box and ship the kit via express delivery to Beacon. No ice or preservatives are required for shipment. If you have any questions or would like more information concerning the use of adsorbent samplers to target VOCs and SVOCs in soil gas or indoor air, please visit our website, beacon-usa.com, or contact us at 410-838-8780.